Hey everybody, I'm Tektos, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3. I took a little time off screen once again, and uh, did some, well, restructuring, I'd say. And there's a little hint in the comments that uh, I took immediately, and I'm... It's quite stupid that I didn't think of that myself. And I did invest a little bit in the, uh, the tank department, like we did, or I started researching like tank armor and guns and whatnot in an effort to gain the medium tank brigade for being able to build mechanized infantry and somebody asked me why you don't just buy that off of Germany yeah <laughs> I felt like an idiot once I read that uh, it's pretty obvious and I since then reassembled even though we lost some time but I since then reassigned some of my research projects and uh, we're now gonna research the uh, mountain Warfare equipment, which probably should have done uh, quite a bit earlier, but better late than never, because we do have uh, quite a stretch of mountains in our front. Night fighting equipment uh, could start that now. Could have started it a little earlier, maybe, but we're gonna start it now. And one more uh, doctrine research in the mass assault, because those are now uh, 1944 techs, which uh, those two are like our most important. Uh, land doctrine, so I'm researching them. And I'm quite glad because I probably would have wasted a lot of time researching those tanks. So uh, thanks again for the hint and keep them coming. Like, if you got some strategic advice for me, I'm uh, definitely not above taking some help on that. Because, uh, uh, oh, another one I took is uh, set some goals for Turkey because they uh, are quite weirdly behaved. Uh, I don't know what. That strategy is... Oh, I guess they're meeting... Oh, right. They're meeting with Germany in Isklip. And they're having a square dance in here. I don't even know. There's some troops flowing this way and some troops flowing that way. And I can't make sense of it for the life of me. But I uh, put a war goal for Turkey. Because uh, this here is a victory point. And it will keep them busy in Russian territory, hopefully. Uh, so, And I want to draw some of the Russian divisions down because the situation it, it looks really desperate I have to say and um, the Russians pulled a lot of their strength as you can see here there's a lot of divisions moving down to I'd say flank me is that is that flanking I don't know uh, basically they come around the back and poke a hole in my weak spot in my defenses and I have to, like, I have some troops here, but I have to keep them there and I have to keep the numbers advantage because the Russians are so damn strong at this point. Um, like, if we fight one-on-one -on -one division-wise, usually I, uh, I pick the short straw, as you say. I, I lose the battle. So, I have to keep the numbers here. And they took advantage of it. Yeah, no other way to say it. Uh, they really didn't suspect the AI has that in him, but apparently they improved it quite a bit since I last played the game. So we have to kind of reorganize, restructure this here. I did a little... Oh, I also freed up some some leadership and put these marines under uh, an HQ. Because they're gonna sit here guarding the ports anyway. I don't want to have the allies uh, invade these, these ports. And what better unit to guard it than the marines? So we're I'm gonna put them in the command structure just to make them uh, that much stronger and uh, more efficient at their task. So we got a new HQ here, one here, and they both attach to the first army here. Which uh, I'll move to what's that? Des Desmazes? I don't know. This here, uh, Benisav, right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we're gonna move them here. The Tunis HQ. Uh, get some company, and that should be enough to, like, lend our support. And also, I'm with withdrawing my uh, African army. Not sure where to put them, but, um... We'll figure something out. There's enough fronts that need help. Uh, likely, I'm gonna deploy them here. And help strengthen this front line here, but we'll we'll see. Alright, so that's uh, about the sum of it. I also replaced one minister. Um, let me take a sip of tea. Mm. Ah, I'm a little bit short of breath. Um, 
Just walk some stairs. <laughs> That's uh, the nerds. Uh, anyway, let's, um, yeah, we, we uh, replaced, which one did I replace, by the way? Uh, oh, here, the uh, head of intelligence, because we had one that gave us um, industrial intel, I think, or mm, whatever. That doesn't really matter to me. So I picked the espionage bonus. And, well, that's about it. So let's uh, let's have the game rolling. I need to address my, my front line here, because it's, it's quite messed up. Um, yeah, there's really no other way to put it. We got Stalingrad, we're probably going to lose it, unless the, the Germans are about to help us out in a big way. Which I don't really... I don't really think they will. Where are you belonging to? Okay, we're gonna detach that, reattach you to some HQ near, like that. That's great. Okay. Because these bonuses are so significant, like even, uh, yeah, they're too significant to ignore. So I'm breaking up my order of, like, having motorized cores and having... It doesn't matter at this point. All that matters is I need to hold the line against the Russians. And uh, basically by any means possible is my... Uh, da, 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 da. I can't attack the, the heavy tanks here. I just hope they don't come from me, actually. Um, we have the tanks. That, um... Hmm. I got driven out of Rostov Nadon, though I don't know where to actually put them. Anyway, um, we need to, like, stop the advance that I made up here. And uh, pull back the troops, basically. There's no... Yeah, this here didn't work out well. Uh, this here doesn't look like it'll work out well either. So, I'll just retreat down here. And, uh, have these guys... Come on now, I'm gonna retreat there as well. I'm retreating here. Um, don't need the extra province there. So I'll just pull back behind my lines. Um, yeah, it's just I need every troop I can afford to uh, at least hold the supply line towards towards Stalingrad. Which, uh, apparently is this one here? Uh, I don't even know. We're still in May, so uh, winter is not that big of a deal. But uh, it'll, it'll come around sooner than I like. And uh, knowing the Germans from what they did so far... They're no help. Um, <laughs> so, I kind of have to prepare for the worst. Speaking of that, is there anything popping up? No. How is there still British ships running around? Gosh, damn it. Well, let's see if Turkey... Yeah, they're actually responding, kind of. Ah, so now you're trying to... Uh... That's a good sign, when they're trying to... Um, attack my, my troops in an absolute hopeless position. Because that means they're rather desperate, aren't they? So now uh, these guys got beaten, which means we can push them around until they actually are on territory that... Oh, uh, anti-tank. I think we'll move here. Yeah, move these guys here, over the river there. I don't know if I'm attacking from here to here. Will that be a river crossing? I don't know. Okie Uh How about you... Well, I wanted to support the attack, but... Apparently I made an attack. That wasn't really my plan. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna give the, the Russians back their land. That's, that's fine. Um, as long as they... Yeah, that's actually just fine. What are they doing now? All right, let's uh, let's claim some of their land back, because if nothing else, it's it's leadership points that could be very helpful. That 
I wonder why it keeps messing it up every time. Whatever. Also reset some uh, some goals for the for the Germans. Um, gave them Moskva and Tila, and uh, I took away Moskva as a goal for Romania because it's just too far, and uh, gave them Tula as well. So, whoops! Hopefully that can help a little bit. Artillery carriage in. All right, okay, that's fine. Yeah, you're great. And we're out of supply. Why the? F I don't get that. We're right on the harbor. How on earth can you be out of supply? That is uh, that is beyond me, actually. But whatever. Oh man, so many Russian troops. Look at that train here. Uh, I think a lot of it it's HQs, but still. This is quite the problem. Um, we're gonna retreat some of the, the weaker troops. And uh, mostly some of the tanks. Uh, maybe retreat you here as well. These guys can stay there. This here is all HQs, right? No, it's not. HQ, HQ, all right. What happened here? Um, yeah, I can't really... This HQ can't hold anymore, right? Oh, you can. Ain't that cute. Um, probably should move you down a little bit, though. Because we need one HQ for the... Yeah, we should move you down a little. That's fine. We're gonna pull back the the tanks anyway, so it should be all right. Uh, you can attack. A couple hours. That's good. Oh, where do you want to go? What happened here? They immediately retreated. Well, that is good. I don't mind that. We're just gonna cut them off. And it uh, looks like we caught ourselves three Russian troops. Which, um, yeah. Ain't gonna object to that. Uh, I hate that they can do that. It's like they're killing my organization even though I'm retreating my troops. They're still, still able to attack there and still able to kill my organization. But yeah, there's apparently nothing to be done. Could probably flee, but oh well. At least the Russians are losing organization as well, quite rapidly. Yeah, they're doing quite poorly themselves. So uh, what is this supposed to be? Uh, you could actually just go ahead and die. I like that. How is one mountaineer holding out against two divisions of tanks? How is that even possible? It's in the plains, no less. Yeah, there, that's much more like it. Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna move my HQ in and out, just so we can claim back that land. What are you doing? Uh, ooh. Yeah, maybe you need to retreat a bit. Oh, gosh, they're taking quite a hurting. Um, let's have you air intercept like this region. And uh, have these guys repair up. I wish I had some infantry with anti tank over there. Do I have that? No, your engineers. There's actual tanks. Here is just some HQs. Hmm. Oh, here we have that. How about you move over there? Help defend that. Um, probably want to have you there as well. And you too. 
can actually... Uh, we're gonna move them down to here. Alright, just retreating on all fronts, because I... Yeah, like I explained, uh, we need to restructure. There's some tanks. Um... Well, heck, we're gonna... No. Go like this. This is rather annoying. God, I can't do anything about it. They're half dead themselves, but... Still, they're being a very, very, very annoying. Hmm... I guess I want to push out these guys. While I still can. Support the attack. Kill some organization for that. Um, you... Go over there. And we're having supply trouble out the, uh, you know what. <sighs> it's really fine. Um... Just attack these guys. It's like they have like no organization left whatsoever, so should be pretty easy. And once we dealt with them, ah, there comes Turkey, or or so you would think. Uh, no, sir, you're not not doing that. Mm, okay, the Germans are dealing with it. Uh, even though it's the garrison unit, it's gonna be. Very, very slow, but they're dealing with it. Ah, more infantry. Very, very good. Alright, um, deploy you. Do we still have... is that... yeah, that's all four transports. Let us deploy that in here. Load you on the boat. And bring you... Um, transport. There we go. Bring you to Rostov. Now, we got enough troops here, don't you? Uh, that's not the... that's not the point. But we need them on the... On the... Uh, whatchamacallit? On the front to Stalingrad or support... So many troops, like they're really... If they start doing a coordinated attack on my uh, on my front line, I think I'm gonna crumble pretty easily. I'm just hoping... Yeah, we see some advance up there, because they have to pull the troops from somewhere. So uh, this here is looking very good. I just wonder what the hell it is they, they have against me. Like, <laughs> why? Why all that effort to uh, to work on me? Is Stalingrad that important? I guess it is, because it's 10 victory points, but... Man, are they putting forth effort. Alright, uh, move you up there. I'm gonna let them work for it a little bit, at least. I don't have many tanks down here. So I really shouldn't shouldn't have my tank destroyers here, but Oh well. Soon we're going to have a little bit of reinforcements and more tank destroyers which uh, desperately needed apparently. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look around. Uh, you guys It's just a mess. So we're gonna de detach, no, not you, but you, and uh, reattach you here. I don't think we can take this tank on, though. Hmm. We 
could try with this one. Though it's planes. Uh, let's let's try. Let's uh, see at least how much damage we can do to it. Alright, not much apparently. We support the attack a little bit. Eh, that's better. That is better. Um, as for this frontage... Once we got these two guys in position, we're gonna push back here. And down here, I think we need to... Well, these hold the line, that's very good. But they're really uh, focusing their troops around... There we go. Focusing their troops around Stalingrad. And uh, no, no you don't. Alright, so these two guys can actually go back over here. We don't need them. And he can uh, take back some of the land. And here come the uh, here come the mechanized infantry, which uh, we should start getting as soon as we finished our round of tank destroyers. I'm not even sure if we need more Varna. Where's the Varna anyway? Uh, let's find it. Varna. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're fine. We don't need more. Like we're gonna let this one tick of naval base finish, but then we we gonna free up the production. They don't need any more. The radar is always useful, but no need for more. How long? 25 hours. Not sure if that is enough time. Alright, looks like the uh, w front here has stabilized. Oh, it looks like we've uh, we've taken some... Push back the tanks. That is a, that's a happy day for me. And uh, wow, they're advancing on Moskva. If we if we catch that, it's game over for the Russians. Like, oh, we have no more spies. How about some disrupted national unity? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much game over if they if we catch it. All right, I'm gonna let those guys recover. All right, I missed uh, missed my chance here. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same shitty thing. We're gonna. Why can't I do that? There we go. Now that should kill these troops. So they lost like four four troops, didn't they? And we're gonna pull all that. Manpower. Actually, let's see. VP map mode. I really need my mountaineers. Um, because there's some. On the other hand, it's so useless. I don't want to start getting tangled up in here. We could, though. We really could. Uh, but the hills, I don't know. These mountains here are gonna be very tough to uh, to steal. I'm gonna keep one tank though. And the rest of my troops could actually just go up here. Um, where are you guys going? You're dead. Um, let's pick them all. And all move them here. Or actually... Here.
Yep. That looks good to me. That was a smart move. Um, though all my tanks are a little bit bruised, uh, that's still gonna be your demise there. Yikes. This is not good. Uh, how about we retreat some of that? Just retreat behind the river. And have you help out there. It's fine, really. We can just... Oh, they got some... Some Tankovaya themselves. <laughs> really? That is... Uh... That is actually funny. Uh, I don't mean to s to uh, sound like an ass, but that is really... <laughs> that tanks are called... Their tank squads are called Tankova. Like... Couldn't be better if you made that up, right? How's my reinforcement coming? Alright. Yeah, getting there. Um, and I'm gonna use these guys to... Any more pop-ups? No. To reinforce... Uh, to reinforce down here. And once we got that, I'm, I think I'm gonna just start taking land here. As much as I can. And... Uh, hmm. I somehow need to switch out. Like, the mountain divisions are worse than useless up here. Uh, though, if I withdraw them and pull them down here, uh, that's gonna be trouble. Because then the Russians start pushing. And the land up here is actually the, the good infrastructure. Or good is, uh, well, it's not really good, but it's it's um, it's at least decent. And if we look at the supplies, we do definitely need that. As you can see, like, this here is our supply lines. And from here... So, uh... Can't really lose that. Should establish some supply lines to here, to Rostov Nadon soon, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Also, we need more. Let's actually uh, before we like lose the diplomatic influence. Mm. May twenty fifth. Gosh, I just hope the AI doesn't do any stupid trades, and we can actually maintain the influence and buy more units off of Germany, because I definitely need some mechanized infantry for myself. Alright, this should suffice to hopefully defend here, but it's still a little bit messy, but it's less messy than it was, I think. And uh, we're still doing fine here. Everything uh, Wow, this is slow. Um, yeah, whatever, it's, it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna move down the African core just here, maybe, so it can provide some some bonus. And I'm gonna call it quits here. Looks like a good good point to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, if you got any tips or uh, strategies or stuff that I'm missing, don't be shy. Put it in the comments. I'll be happy to pick it up and try to implement it in my overall strategy. If it's not too late, like I'm. Recording two games after this one, which, uh, yeah, you'll have to, to wait. Like, if you give me advice on this, uh, it's gonna be two episodes until you actually will see it implemented. But still, I'm gonna read all the comments and uh, gonna take all the help I can get. Uh, did I say that without sounding desperate? I think it came out okay. And uh, you guys have a great day. See you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.